E Rock, how are you doing? Good. Be right back. Whose water is that? Mr. Lipton would like another bottle of water. Well, Mr. Lipton can have whatever he wants, goddammit. Not only has he oh. talked to every famous person in the world, but he used to be a also, pimp. Could you talk to Who Kid? Is that cool? I don't know if we're going to have time to squeeze Who Kid in. Yeah, that was... I'm just hanging. I'm just hanging too. You know, <laughs> well, you got like ten minutes. Ten. I got. I got the whole show today. Who kid? Oh, get out of here. You're here nice and early. Did you see James Lipton? Yeah. You yeah, know who just, James Lipton is, right? I just saw him outside. Did you get a photo with him? Nah. He said, "Fuck you." He did. He said that to you. So I don't take photos with you know homies. He was just. That's what he says. He's old school. Yeah, he's super old school. You know. He was. Uh, he was on here talking about the days of living in Paris. He was a pimp. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. He just talked about it. He said, uh... Selling that pussy. That's what he was doing. His girlfriend, yeah. I guess, was a woman of the night, and he used to go to, like, uh, tourist areas, mm. and people would be like, oh, you want to see the Eiffel Tower? You want to see the Arc de Triomphe? Yeah. And he'd be like, you want to see some girls fuck? And they'd what? be like, yes, yes, of course we do, James Lipton. He's seen his dick, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know if he took his dick out for them at that. <laughs> that, that doesn't seem like a convincing sales pitch. So he was like a, a pimp in Paris. Like, yeah. Wow. He was one of the original N words in Paris, I guess. Get the hell out of here! You're you're a good person to ask about. What's going on with Lil Wayne? Uh, he's doing the Harlem Shake in the hospital. <laughs> Is that what's going on? He's like, wait, 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 because wait, wait, wait. TMZ, <laughs> TMZ went out and said that uh, first on Saturday night they said he was mm. dying, and then the Birdman was like, Lil Wayne's not dying. Yeah. Brrr. But what's crazy is uh, uh, we were actually making fun of him on my show Saturday. You were. And then uh, Bird, well, Birdman manager called me, and Birdman was driving to the hospital. But they were, they heard it on Sirius XM how we oh. were making fun of him. So I had to do a, a Lil Wayne Shake It Up set. <laughs> so I did all, play all Lil Wayne bangers. But they were tuning in. But I think he, they're really going there. But I don't know about all that dying and all that. Were they like, Hookie, could you chill out a little bit? Nah, Lil they, Wayne's in the hospital. I told him, you know I'm joking, right? And they're like, yeah, we know you're joking. What were they? And then what they call you? Wode. What's Wode? Something in New Orleans. They call other black people Wode. You ever hear that? What's your What's your name again? <laughs> is he new? Dave. Yeah. Fuck is this guy? Well, he doesn't. He's Dave's made very little impact. This, unfortunately, this my so. con. <laughs> yes, it is. It's hot. You ever heard of that expression before? Wode. Has anybody I ever have called not. you? Wode. Has anybody ever called you that? Mm -mm. This is a baby. You know, he's so rich. He gets like fifty percent of M and M's like intake. Baby, the, the Birdman gets fifty yeah. percent of M and M's. How does that work? No, not M and M. I'm sorry, Lil Wayne. Oh, so, oh, so, oh, so if Lil oh. Wayne makes thirty million. He, he takes fifteen million. Yeah. So sick. Woda. <laughs> so he can make up slang. But I don't know if he's dying. You know, I think that's just hype to get him. Yeah, I mean, and... right after that, it's he's probably in the hospital. Don't you think it's stupid though that like there was a time we were just. Uh, you know, talking about the anniversary of Biggie's death. Mm -hmm. There was a time when rappers were getting shot. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to the hospital and getting into seizures for Pills drinking, and stuff. like, cough syrup? Nah, but he, 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 he did an enema with it. He did an enema with his cough purple drink? Yeah, he put it in his ass. A codeine enema. Mm -hmm. That shit will fuck you up, who kid? That's why he was shaking. <laughs> Call him shake. What's up, Tyler? Yo, Sam. I learned today on today's show that uh, Play 800 ruined so many men's neckties. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Are you serious? Larry. <laughs> uh, hello, Mr. Kid. What up, son? Uh, just hanging out, man. You know how it is. It's so nice out. I think I'll leave it out. Mm. Um, Sammy, <laughs> what? Hollywood fun, some Sammy Sweetheart, the Ethan Roberts professional broadcaster. And I'm telling you, I couldn't believe Friday you were so friendly with Dave LaGreca after your complete and total hosing over the busted open show, which, by the way, was total bullshit. Because you are a world renowned professional wrestling expert, as well as originator of the blatantly stolen Lonely Virgil yeah. concept, which is also total fucking bullshit. No, I appreciate that. that. Most, you um, see, when, when, when this weekend, when TMZ wasn't uh, posting about Lil Wayne dying in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase yeah, made TMZ. That's crazy. And he was talking about Virgil. That's who crazy. Kid? That was me, okay? <laughs> I'm the one who made Virgil an internet phenomenon. <laughs> Haitian Virgil? Yeah, yeah, he's Haitian. Is he Haitian? Mm -hmm. He looks Haitian. I don't know if he's actually Haitian. Ugly nigga, too. LonelyVirgil.net, who kid? The thing that started it all. Mm. That's my website. Get the fuck out of here. It's they took mine. it from your shit. They took it from my shit, who kid? Fuck. I feel like, like one of the rappers you used to rob. <laughs> They sampled you? Yeah. That's a bullshit. Without permission. No clearance. No clearance. <laughs> Get a lawyer. Go on, Larry. Yeah, but the downside of your theft, Sam, is you don't have a bunch of thugs with a van and automatic weapons, which really sucks, by the way. True. I need to get somebody to do some kidnapping. Can you hook that up? 
I, 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 well, no. Uh, well, deep, maybe Mr. Kidd can hook that up because I wouldn't even begin to have those connections. I'm I could sorry do that. if you weren't even talking to me for the question. I'm terribly sorry, my ego. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, Larry. <laughs> yeah, What's like going on today? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I learned on today's show is it, it continues to impress about how Demi can hit the post. He is absolutely phenomenal. And also, I learned, and who knew that James Lipton could get a job in acting and make a career in acting <laughs> without ever acting in anything? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. He's the man. You want this, uh, Larry, you always call it, you want this Sudoku? <laughs> Well, I, the, the question I have about the Sudoku is, which one is it? Is it one of the New York Post? Is it the Daily News? It's the, Sudoku? It's the, the Daily York News. Today? It's the Daily News completed, signed, and dated by Greg Obie Hughes. Well, um, i got to tell you, it would, could become a very valuable family heirloom. All right. Well, I'm going to put you on hold. They're going to take your address, and uh, and you're going to get it. Okay, well, great, Sammy, because I wanted to talk to somebody off air about a great elevator show premise. All right, give it to whoever screening calls. I want to get on that show. All right. You want to get on Obie's elevator show? I want to be, like, naked on there. Why? Nobody asked you to be naked. I thought everybody has to be naked on there. No, nobody's been naked on there. Have you watched it? I saw somebody naked on there one time. I mean, Troy took his shirt off to get slapped in his chest, but he wasn't naked. You sure Troy wasn't naked? I mean, I'm pretty sure he was. I think he had pants on. I want my dick out in that elevator. You got all jealous when you saw Troy's elevator show? Like, I want to get naked in the elevator. Yeah, he's all cut up and shit. <laughs> I'm playing this super stick man golf too, man. That shit's hard. Are you serious? Dad, were you listening to the show this morning? No, nah, I just downloaded it yesterday. Opie just came on the show today and said that he's addicted to super super stick man golf. Are you fucking on serious? On his phone. Yeah, yeah, That's the new shit, I guess. My dick is white now, so I've been playing that lately. Look, Look, super stick man golf too, yeah. All right, I don't Are you understand. serious? How come you inserted the my dick is white? part of that sentence i don't understand black where people that... don't really golf so, oh unless oh. you're half asian i see i see i see and okay. you love the game yeah, i know. love it i can't stop mm. like a white dude yeah i guess so tom in farmingville hey what's up guys how you doing Blue, what, what up kid what up son uh, no you know listen you know what i learned today i learned that if you don't want to have a hangover you just gotta eat jelly donuts and you'll be fine I heard Eric that. was the star again, I would say, of today's show. Just the fact, if not, I don't know, it's either you or James Lipton today. <laughs> Just the recap, Friday's show what? was so good that today's show was a classic show just because of all the recapping that we did. Mm. Eric, do you, did you black out from Friday? No, I did not. You didn't black out? Nope. I could have sworn when you were sitting there, because I don't know if you heard about this, who can, mm. Friday... At Eric's choice became donut and tequila day. What? Eric said, I love tequila. I'm going to bring it in on Friday, and we're going to do tequila day. And I'm looking at him when he's telling me this earlier in the week, going like, you, you're fucking nuts. Like, why, why Is that would he, healthy? Why, <laughs> why would anybody drink tequila at 7 o'clock in the morning? But, of course, we all just looked at him and said, all right, dude, go for it. <laughs> he went for it. And so he brought in the tequila, and we made it our <laughs> mission. We went around the halls trying to find people. Who kid? <laughs> <laughs> he did 10 shots of Patron on the air. What? 10 shots of Patron on the air. Is that something we don't know, Eric? How did it feel? Uh, after uh, after a few, you don't even notice it anymore. Well, you couldn't have Holy noticed it because, shit. dude, he did three shots of water mm. that we told him were tequila. After he had done the 10 shots, mm. he thought it was tequila. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> like, when did you find out that you were doing shots of water? Well, like, like I like I said earlier, on the uh, the first shot of the other tequila, it didn't have that like that kick that tequila has. <laughs> it seems to well, so. Well, you Eric went on the record of doing a shot of water. Shots of water. And then he went like this. He went, ooh, smooth. <laughs> 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 Fucking guy drinking water. Yeah. <laughs> And then, um, then Anthony had taken the bottle at one point and downed the last half of it, or probably three wow. quarters. And, and Eric, I still didn't notice. I still didn't know at that point. Eric was sitting there <laughs> in his drunkenness. Who kid? Anthony, it's a bottle of water, but it's in a tequila bottle. Anthony does three quarters of it in one <laughs> shot, and Eric's looking at him like he's the fucking man. <laughs> and Eric looks at Anthony, and in classic drunk guy moment, he looks right at him and he goes, "I want you to know." <laughs> I know that you don't like me. Get the fuck out of here. And we're all looking around like, what? And then Eric goes, but that was fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. A true serum right there. <laughs> and then uh, when the show was over, the main show, I see 
aunt with his backpack getting ready to leave and walking down the hallway. And I'm like, how did... Oh, that was not tequila. Get That's the... when I realized it wasn't tequila. <laughs> but you were still loopy. Oh, yeah. How did it... Did it wear off? Like, I, by the afternoon, did you feel it wearing off? Yeah, it was... It was. I would say I could feel that no, I still felt shitty, but it wasn't fucking up like my coordination or anything no, like that. no headaches no nothing nothing you no. didn't get you didn't get a hangover after that That's no crazy. i was expecting it and i didn't get it wow i went to the bathroom yeah. a lot but you yeah. know no headache no throwing up no, nothing did you ever have the tequila shits who kid uh yeah when i went to cancun that shit is rough eric talk about the tequila shits a little bit yeah it was like four hours constant <laughs> yeah it's like con it's constipation right not the liquid. no 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 it was like i said earlier <laughs> oh, if you had a garden a hose and the nozzle on it and you don't have it on stream you just set it to that spray oh. it just shoots out <laughs> oh i got constipated and so you had jelly donuts and tequila <laughs> just pouring out of your asshole oh uh, yeah oh and the sandwich i had too oh of course yeah because spicy right there because in an effort to sober up he ate a bunch of pizza and then had a giant deli sandwich. Yeah. And you didn't constipate? No. It all came out. That's just as good as a workout, right? It counts as calories burned. They're not in you anymore. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. <laughs> it's, it's the same deal, right? Yeah. I had, How a, did, I had a, body feels a brick the same in my after. ass. You had a, you, you, your, your shit just tarred up inside your intestines? I, ate, like, I tried to eat a lot of, uh, I guess, burritos and tacos when I was in Cancun mm -hmm. during spring break because mm -hmm. I drank mad tequila and I ate the worm. And then all of a sudden, I you know I was scared, so I ate mad burritos. Well, and it was like a brick in my ass. When you're in Cancun, I'm surprised. Like, even if you the ice in your drinks, you can't trust mm -hmm. because it don't make you shit all over exactly. the place. It was the opposite, though. You know, I, I had a brick in my ass. <laughs> you were, you were corked like you were in prison. I had a brick in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was serious. What did the wife think of what went down on the show? Eric? <laughs> Your wife I, knew? I got to oh, find yeah. out about this. Because we knew that his wife was listening. Because oh, at some God. point during the show, Eric's wife Instagrammed a photo of the pad data that said E-Rock is drunk. It nah. said it right on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and E-Rock was on the air. And I'm telling like. He's just talking recklessly. Completely I reckless. Fuck bitches, yeah. Well, they didn't say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you remember Nicole. You've met Nicole. Yeah, I met her. She's a very nice person. She's in here, and she's going uh, on the after show. Mm. She's like, oh, my God, Eric is so lovable when he's drunk, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And Eric looks at me, and he goes, you know what, Sam? And I go, what? And he goes, right now? I think I could get her. <laughs> I, go, I, go, I go, you could fuck Nicole? And he goes, I think I could. <laughs> and then Nicole is sitting there, and I'm asking her about the hangover, yeah, and what's yeah. Eric going to feel? And Nicole goes, I got to tell you, this kid, he is going to take a nap, and he's going to wake up hung. <laughs> and Eric goes, wake up hung? And Nicole goes, yeah. And Eric goes, morning BJs <laughs> from Nicole. <laughs> Do you remember what your logic was when you were saying that? No, I I think it was that I remember a story she talked she, about that she liked doing that to her husband. And so you were thinking, wow, we're, we're all waking up. When in Rome. <laughs> Damn, you probably wake up, you get head by her. Damn, she's a nice person too. I, but I don't know if you can ha if you can handle it when you're hungover from tequila shots. She do got a nice mouth though. You've noticed that. Mm -hmm. But the, the the problem is the ass. Have you noticed that? Mm, I like flat. That too. You yeah. like her ass? I like flat asses. It's totally. Uh, you are a white guy, aren't you? Because I like seeing the butthole clear. <laughs> I hate when the butthole's hidden. You know, you don't like the the, the deep but crevices. I want to see the butthole and the pussy, so I know it's there. You, know you want a woman to take her pants down, and you have a direct path to that butthole. Like I, I had a flat Irish chick this weekend. You like that? Red lawn. You don't like it because most of uh, most black guys they like the big ass, the cushy cheeks. Nah, I'm not like most man. Something something you can hit it from behind and like bounce you, back. Man. I'm you. Yeah. <laughs> Very strange. So what did the wife think of the whole uh, the whole thing? She she said it was fine. What does that mean though? She wasn't upset or anything. She just was making sure that I was all right. Was she humiliated? No, she was laughing at it. She thought it was funny. Yeah. Because I was drunk. He's drunk. Right. Because I was going to say, like, you know, some women could be humiliated by that. Mm. But to me, he came on this show on Friday and he was the fucking man. Wow. You know, he was, like you said, talking reckless. But he was the man. He was making people laugh. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't. Are you human? Have you listened back? Uh, just what I heard today. Was, and I have that was the first time I listened to it. What's your what, what's your <laughs> feeling coming off of it? How are you feeling over the weekend? It's crazy. How are you feeling today? <laughs> well, uh, overall, okay. Yeah, um, I'm 
up until today. I'm guessing the performance Uh-oh. was was good. There's mm-hmm. Nicole walking by. You don't want me to hook up one of those morning BJs for you? Yeah, nah, I can't do that. that <laughs> no, you could have on Friday. So you're saying the performance was good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. everything was good. Everyone, se- based on all the feedback I got all weekend, everybody seemed to like the show. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, there was a couple little uh, difficult moments to listen to. But uh, what was difficult for you? Actually, just listening to it. Was but there, a, was there a rough. Was there any specific thing that you said that you were like, oh? Like when you looked um, at when no. you looked at Anthony and you said, "I know that you don't like me." Is no. that one of those things that you're like, "Why would I say that?" No, um, I think it was when I would the uh, the part where they said I was crying and I didn't realize I was crying. Yeah, that that was kind of like, oh. dude, you're he's crying. He start, but it wasn't okay. like, come on, uh, it wasn't that. Oh. It just was happening physically. Oh, ha- happy and I'm talking cry. to them, but it was no, it was more. It wasn't a happy cry. It was emotional because it wasn't just watery eyes, and mm. then the tears started going down. His lip was quivering. Damn, that's his like... the tears were coming down his cheeks, and we go, Iraq, why are you crying? And he goes, I didn't realize I was. <laughs> And then he told me, do you remember telling me on the after show that the second time you knew you were crying and mm. the reason that you were crying was because you figured out that you were crying? No, but that, okay. That I'm, was your, I'm sure I said that. That was your logic to me, that you realized but you he were... He wasn't crying like a bitch, though. He was just like emotional. Like, then, I love this show. I love Anthony. I want to sleep with Opie. Like, exactly. That's exactly what was, was like going that? on. No, not at all. But oh, okay. Wait, that wasn't it? No, not at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> but he started he started going he started getting a quivery lip again and saying I'm sorry I fucked up the show. Nah. I'm sorry I fucked up the oh, show right, crying again. Right, yeah. You remember that was that yeah. embarrassing that you did that? Um No, it's not embarrassing cuz I think <laughs> at the time I did believe that. Well, it didn't last long. It lasted 30 seconds before well, you completely yeah, they, they, flipped. They convinced me otherwise that I hadn't. <laughs> but it was then, tearing, though. Then it? I retracted my apology. I knew that you were a hit because somebody tweeted me right after my Sunday show. Mm. He was like, Sam, that was a terrible show. Actually, I'm going to retract what I just said and go fuck myself. Because <laughs> that's what he said, who kid. He E-Rock goes, was the shit. E-Rock goes, like, I'm sorry for fucking up the show. You didn't want a drinking show. And Opie and Anthony are going... And me, we're all going, what are you talking about? E-Rock, like... It was the best, huh? It, you, you're doing a great job. And wow. he goes, you know what? After being in radio for 19 years, this is what people want to hear. <laughs> I'm going to retract that apology and go fuck myself. <laughs> I wish uh, I heard that shit. I would have been dying. Where's Troy? Bring Troy in here. It was the one show that Troy missed. Mm. Troy was out sick on Friday, unfortunately, and, like, this was the one. Was, oh, bro? I thought like, he, t- he told me he was in the elevator with his shirt off. No, that wasn't on Friday. Oh, okay. That was a couple weeks ago. Okay. Dude, you missed the show of the year. <laughs> I know. I heard it, though. It was great. Were you happy, Eric, that Troy didn't get to enjoy that? I No, I knew. I couldn't find him at first. I didn't realize he was out, and then I never thought about it for the rest of the show. <laughs> well, you didn't think about much, did you? No. <laughs> you were feeling no pain. I was feeling good. You got to listen back to the to what you said about Sal. You were sitting there, and I was going, "Erock, Sal is cheering for you." Mm. And Erock, dude, Troy, did you hear it? Yeah, yeah, that was great. Erock starts pointing to the window that Sal's by, and he goes, "Nobody cares about him." <laughs> and just like wow, announcing you, it for yeah, the world, he was twisted, huh? Yeah, it was funny too, man. He really. Uh, <laughs> were, he, you were you surprised? Were you surprised at how? Uh, Cause you, did you hear that Eric was trying to organize Tequila Sunday? Yeah, or Tequila Friday? <laughs> yeah, and I was like, ah, like what is what's he doing? You know, and I thought to myself, like, he's not going to really do it, right? And then I tuned in. I was sick. I wasn't feeling. When I woke up a little late, and I tuned in. And it was fucking. It was great. It was really funny. Did you think he would ever in your right mind? Would you ever think that Eric would sit there and voluntarily just do ten shots? No. There's no way. It's not I him. I don't know how of. he could do that. That's crazy. Like Eric, do you do you have a do you drink a lot when you're not here? No, not like, um, I, how do you say this without sounding like an alcoholic? Not like <laughs> like every day, you know, every night I need how to go often, home to get something. How to often do you drink? Maybe the weekends. So like maybe once or twice a week? If that, yeah. And how many drinks do you have? Not a whole lot. Because you have a, a crazy tolerance for alcohol. Ten shots? He did, who it? I was counting. That's crazy. He did 10 legit shots. The three shots of water made it 13. It was 10 tequila <laughs> shots. 
He's yeah. also got a lot Dude, of body weight. Sucks. Yeah, that's well to absorb that. It, I'm not trying to be mean. No, but, I, I mean, said that earlier. It's probably you know. yeah, but dude, you could be obese and ten shots is still uh, gonna hit you. I mean, dude, you have a lot of you have a lot of fat in there. He's not that <laughs> fat, is he? Is he ten shots fat? For between seven and ten in the morning, that's that's pretty crazy. It's cr and then to wake up with no hangover. Yeah, that must have been a big ass sandwich you ate. Oh, it was. <laughs> what kind of sandwich it did you was, get? Was it, it roast was, beef or something? It was, uh, well, because we had mentioned it earlier, yeah. I felt in the mood for corned beef and pastrami. I knew it. It was near us. <laughs> a little mustard. Corned there. beef and pastrami. <clears throat> followed then, pizza. So it was, So this is what your stomach, and you're wondering why you had to spend four hours <laughs> spraying <laughs> shit all <laughs> over <laughs> your bathroom. <laughs> Eric's stomach had ten shots of tequila, yeah. a giant corned beef and pastrami sandwich, some jelly donuts, and pizza. Straight commando right there. Wow. Uzi ass. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear him talk about getting head? Like the the BJs? Yeah. He he just he's, great. he's like a fucking pimp as soon as he gets an alcohol on him. He was a pimp, wasn't he? Yeah, he just he just had the it sounded like he had a, a fucking Co uh, cocaine dick yeah. in his pants. You know what did, I mean? you, did you feel that way? Did you feel like you had a nice little can of Diet Coke in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was feeling like, well, this isn't going to get any worse. So let's just, <laughs> just keep going with it. It seemed like, like you were very confident. Is that what happens when you drink? Do you get confident? Maybe a little liquid courage, yeah. A little liquid courage. Why not? That's why people love alcohol, man. You go out to a bar and you just start kicking bullshit to a bitch. Yeah, and you don't give a dick. fuck. <laughs> so, so I tell you, you suck my dick, yo. Yeah, but you won't even be drunk when you're saying that. You're yeah, just I'll being... say a regular, but he, yo, he shocked me with that shit. I wish I would have heard it. He did. More than BJ. <laughs> Good. And Dennis was funny on the show, too. I can't believe that he was actually that funny. Dude, do you know Dennis? He's the weirdo that sits by the door. Oh, yeah. yeah I know He's like a, an older guy, and nobody yeah, really knows what he does. glasses. Yeah. yeah. It's a weird guy. He's been working in radio for, like, since, what, 79. So that's 70, 89, 30 years. Um, more than 30 years. He's like a radio junkie. Oh. I don't know how that guy, after we've gotten to know him on the air. Yeah. Like, I want to give him my overnight shift on Hits 1. How is he not a real jock here? Well, I, look, it translates funny on the air. But when you're just walking around or you're standing, you're, you have your fucking dick in your hand at the urinal. Mm -hmm. It's not that funny. He does. <laughs> you guys got to understand. And Troy's right. That Dennis character that's on the air, that's him 24 hours a day. Yeah. And it really comes across funny. And, and O and A are feeding into him and, yeah. and, and playing it up. It's hysterical. But that dude, you'll stand at the fucking urinal taking a leak, and he'll look over and be like, you know, back when I was on WL, <laughs> you know, and you're like, dude, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, it gets you upset. I just get annoyed, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it's just like, it's just one of those, he's one of those people that just constantly has to talk and hear himself talk. Well, he's a DJ. He's right. a DJ, Troy. Right. But they just don't know when to shut it off and just be like a regular dude. No. So while you're pissing, though? We, while I'm pissing, while I'm in the fucking kitchen, while I'm doing anything, <laughs> that dude will just come on and be like, you know, back when Cousin Brucey was blah, 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 I'd have to talk to you about radio. And I'm like, I don't give a shit well, you about know, radio. You know what happens when they shut it off? Reality starts to kick in. Mm. All right, you heard this guy. All right, this is a guy who's got a family. He's been in the business for over 30 years, and he's still doing... DJ work, not like club DJ work, but like what? What? What is it called? What? What do you say? Just like sticky radio, mobile entertainment. Yeah, no, but what did he say he's DJing this weekend? Uh, uh, um, the Catholic oh. deal. Uh, christening, christening. Like Somebody's christening, right? No, he's not. Yeah. yeah, he's taking these gigs where he is to christening. He's playing musical christening. chairs for kids. What? At these DJ gigs, and he's been in the business for 30 years. What happens when you shut off the DJ character is that you realize what's going on, and you get mad. You get, you get angry. Yeah. You get mad at everyone and it's everything. Crazy. So you can't do it. Imagine being married to that dude. Where you just you, The radio does, guy doesn't ever get shut off. He's trying to, and, or being his kid. Like, imagine if your dad is just every day trying to tell you about the old days of radio. Yeah, the glory days. Like, you're driving, to school, you're in high school, and you got Z100 on or whatever. And your dad is just in the front seat of the car going, you know, before it was Z100, it was... And he's just telling yeah, would, you exactly what those... I would tell my dad, shut the fuck up. You would <laughs> yeah, but your dad would turn around and be like, shut up, cutie. Yeah, you're looking no, cute like, today. Right, keep talking. Whatever, sir. 
Whatever you say. But, the, but he, he, go ahead, sorry. He's just sitting there. Before Elvis Duran, you know, they were, they, 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 he didn't do a time check. I know Elvis Duran is big, but you should do a <laughs> double time check. Because what it's going to do is going to confuse the listener. Mm. They want to know what time it is. Okay, now imagine being a program director here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're trying to run a channel or something. And then this guy comes in, knows everything, mm -hmm. is correcting everything you're doing. <laughs> wow. like, like, you wonder why, like, you know. There he is, walking up the hall. You think that's what he does? He goes in Ooh, and he's, he's coming up here now. He's correcting program directors. Yeah. And yeah, I'm sure he's probably has to let people know well, uh, Gary. all of his knowledge in radio. Well, listen, Radio Wizard, you're doing something wrong here. Yeah, this is the way it should be done. This is the way we did it back in the day and blah, 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 blah. So he's like a Uzi, like a, you know, Uzi mouth. Do you know who, kid? Of Dennis? course. This is my man. This is Mike Hunt. <laughs> it is hot. You got your own little catchphrase, huh? Uh, it's already over. Sure. I want it's to, called mobile DJ work. Mobile DJ parties. Yeah, but I was, that's what happens, right? You turn off. You turn off that inner DJ, and the anger is going to come out, isn't it? It's no anger. That's it's what I'm fun saying. Doing a party. Is it's it fun? I enjoy it. It's not. You know, Wu Kid goes in. Does it? It's a different thing. Everybody's different. I get yeah. my dick Everybody's sucked at the end of the night. You know? Do you get your dick sucked, <laughs> Dennis? When you do these parties, do you ever get your I, dick I sucked? I look forward to a tip at the end of it. <laughs> yeah, just, care, you know, just the tip. Tashish. I get it on lunch. He likes to just put just the just tip. Just the tip. In. One of these mothers, of these like you're throwing a kid's birthday party, and somebody's you know you go to a single mom. Mm. You're not looking around like, hey, how's this going to turn out tonight? I just hope the dance floor is packed. Right, right, what right. Want, the dance floor to be well, packed. what if she's looking down to make sure the DJ's pants are packed? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? I'm there in my tuxedo, having a good time. <laughs> Who knows? Certain time. Look at that. Boy. What are you showing? What are you showing? Dennis? <laughs> pictures of his DJ equipment. The, the Irish chick that sucked me off. This oh, weekend. Jesus Christ. Who kid? Dennis Red is a Lord. professional. Red Lord. He's a professional. It's not about <laughs> getting blown. It's not about the groupies. It's about making sure what? Everybody has a good time. Everybody's there for a good time. Serious? Yeah. And then you got to have your good time at the end of the night, right? I got to get my dick sucked, man. All right. What? That's not what it's about, who kid? It's about, it's about the, 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 the you profession. Paid, you have a good time. You go to the diner afterwards. Yeah. Diner. What do you, you get at the, the diner? Well, usually grilled cheese, hash browns. Disco fries. Gravy. What an ending. Is it disco fries? What's it? Disco fries? Hey, you're feeling crazy. No, I just like to get regular hash browns. Just hash browns. Yeah. Breakfast right. food. At least it's late. That, it's almost man. 11 o'clock at night. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't know these gigs were going that late. Oh, yeah. Some of them. You know, 11. Up. You yeah, sometimes, hopefully, if you get overtime, that's nice. You get right. an extra hour. A little OT. Things Yo, get out of hand. Can you come, can, can come with me this Saturday to Greenhouse? I DJ this Saturday coming up. Would you go to one of Who Kids DJ gigs? I'll show you the maybe, bitches and everything. Maybe you could jump on the ones and twos and say, Who Kid? No, no, White everybody, bitches, too. Everybody's got a different style. Yeah, but you're sitting there going, Who Kid? You know, you're all about getting that dick sucked why don't you let denny jump behind the ones and yeah. twos while you're concentrating on that Matt, i'll make sure these guys have a good time i'll just get his dick sucked you don't even have to dj <laughs> <laughs> i don't even have to bring my hard drive of hits huh yeah. <laughs> just, bring your, just, just bring your hard drive <laughs> usually that hard drive of hits is what i'll do it for you has there been an influx of business since uh this well, opie anthony are picking up, yeah things are picking up that's hot. I, I told you we're moving into communion season here yeah yeah that's what and it was we communion got, right? we got wedding season right right and things just, what? Uh, things just uh, out of control yeah. i wish i'd known you were the man on the ones and twos before i got married we would have had a good time. I booked some corny DJ, and I mean, he he, he was good because he did what I told him to. Okay. Did he bring the blow up guitars and everything? Well, I got to tell you, Denny. I to <laughs> and do you mind if I call you Denny? Sal is, by the way, the one who invented the name Denny, but I think it fits. I told that DJ. Denny Den the Lady's Choice. Uh, Denny Den the Lady's the Choice. DJ with the smooth voice. Right. Ooh, right. Shit. But you know what? You may I used be. To do that when I used to play roller disco back in the day. What'd you What'd you do? I used to rap on the mic. You did? No, no. No. That's not my well, it's style. It's not that hard to believe, is it? That's not, that's not my style. No. Um, <laughs> no, I've told this before, but I went out. I told my DJ, don't bring any of that bullshit. Like, I'm not trying to see. Ooh. I don't want the chicken dance. Ooh. I don't want a blow up guitar. I don't even want a video monitor. Okay. I want you. I told him I I know these people that are coming to my wedding. I have a vision for what what it should sound like. Mm. I want you to play these songs. That's an easy gig. You don't mind doing that. You don't mind when somebody like me is going to tell you, "Look, this is how I need it done." No, you're the boss, and you're there to be you're, like, you know what? The bill. If this is what's going to give this guy a good time, that's it. But you wouldn't try to sneak in a little like. I just catch you behind the DJ booth blowing up one little blow up guitar. No. <laughs> Danny, I told you not to no Macarena. Cheesy. I try to, you know, I try to be hip without being hokey. And I'm sitting there. My aunt is getting on the dance floor and she's doing the Macarena. I told you I didn't want this yeah, at my it, wedding. But you know what? If she comes over and she wants to hear it, I'll say, you know, that young lady over there asked me to play the Macarena. And you'll like say, go ahead. Shit. You know, give her a good time. I go. She's 70 years old, Danny. Don't call her. Don't no, call her a young lady. Cupid shuffle. 
The Cupid Shuffle. Yeah. What's the Cupid Shuffle? Well, that's another dance, you know, along the lines of the cha cha slide. You know, the Cupid Shuffle, where you go four steps to the right, four steps to the left, and wow. you walk it down. You know all. Around. You know all these dances. You got. You got to stay up on this stuff. I you feel like I'm. You, looking. Don't play, you don't play niggas in Paris. Do you play? Uh, Cupid, no. I played that. I played that a couple of times at a gig. N words in Paris. Announce the title though. You won't. No, because well, you could offend people. You got kids there. Usually, kids are the ones that are asking for these records. You know, they, my they ask for niggas in Paris. <laughs> Wow. A little white guy, did a little white kid ever come up to you and ask you for that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they do it all the time. <laughs> you ever tell them, do you, do you pass judgment on them or do you let that, you know what? You said you drop that M-bomb all you want, as long as you're having a good time. As long as you're having a good time. <laughs> That's all. The dance floor's packed. Big as in Paris. I feel, I heard you the first time, okay. I just want to make sure. I told Troy, my wedding DJ would not play any songs of profanity. He <laughs> no, all, I said. You can't. I said, will you play the, just no radio edits? And he goes, no, dude, I'm playing the radio edits. Yeah, That's you just lame. You have a mixed shit, crowd. Right? You have a mixed crowd. If, it, if it's an after hours party, say things are going crazy, like 9 o'clock at night and you're having an after hours party. Sure. Then you after could hours? That. 9 o'clock. It could be 9.30. Yeah, because like I have a four to eight this weekend. Okay, so that's the party. That's four to eight. I'm, I'm hoping when I go to nine o'clock. Right, right. That's OT a, action, you know. <laughs> well, OT. That's time and a half. There Danny. you go. That's time and a half. You know, Yo, but he plays this. Yeah. 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 Also, how motherfuckers want to find me? No, I know the words. <laughs> I know the words. Um, but you know what? At the end of the day, that DJ was right. Because I'm looking around the room. We got, you know, my wife's bosses are there. My family, for who's, who's, you know, people of all ages are there. They don't want to hear end bombs being dropped. No, no, that's not the place. Uh, time and place for everything. You're out of here, who kid? Yeah, I, right I, f right. I feel like Harris, I guess. Get the hell out of here. You're you're a good person to ask about. What's going on with Lil Wayne? Uh, he's doing the Harlem Shake in the hospital. <laughs> Is that what's going on? He's like, wait, 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 because wait, 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 wait. TMZ, <laughs> TMZ went out and said that uh, first on Saturday night they said he was mm. dying, and then the Birdman was like, Lil Wayne's not dying. Yeah. Brr but what's crazy is uh, uh, we were actually making fun of him on my show Saturday. You were. And then uh, Bird, well, Birdman manager called me, and Birdman was driving to the hospital. But they were, they heard it on Sirius XM how we oh. were making fun of him. So I had to do a, a Lil Wayne Shake It Up set. <laughs> so I did all, play all Lil Wayne bangers. But they were tuning in. But I think he they're really going there. But I don't know about all that dying and all that. Were they like, Hookie, could you chill out a little bit? Nah, Lil they, Wayne's in the hospital. I told him, you know, I'm joking, right? And they're like, yeah, we know you're joking. What would it and then what they call you? Wode. What's Wode? Some in New Orleans they call other black people Wode. You ever hear that? What's your What's your name again? <laughs> is he new? Dave? Yeah. Fuck is this guy? Well, he doesn't. He's Dave's made very little impact. Unfortunately, this, this my cop. <laughs> yes, it is. It's hot. You ever heard of that expression before? Wode? Has anybody I ever called not. you? Anybody ever called you that? Mm -mm. This is a baby. You know, he's so rich. He gets like fifty percent. Professional broadcaster, and I'm telling you, I couldn't believe Friday. You were so friendly with Dave Lagreca after your complete and total hosing over the busted open show, which, by the way, was just total bullshit. Because you are a world-renowned professional wrestling expert, as well as originator of the blatantly stolen Lonely Virgil yeah. concept, which is also total fucking bullshit. No, I appreciate yeah. that. I most, you um, see, when, when when this weekend when TMZ wasn't uh, posting about Lil Wayne dying in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase yeah, made yeah. TMZ. That's crazy. And he was talking about Virgil. That's who crazy. Kid? That was me, okay? <laughs> I'm the one who made Virgil an internet phenomenon. <laughs> Haitian Virgil? You yeah. know he's Haitian. Is he Haitian? Mm -hmm. He looks Haitian. I don't know if he's actually Haitian. Ugly nigga, too. LonelyVirgil.net, who kid? The thing that started it all. Mm. That's my website. Get the fuck out of here. It's they took mine. it from your shit. They took it from my shit, who kid? Fuck. I feel like, like one of the rappers you used to rob. <laughs> They sampled you? Yeah. That's a bullshit. Without no, permission. No clearance. No clearance. <laughs> Get a lawyer. Go on, Larry. Yeah, but the downside of your theft, Sam, is you don't have a bunch of thugs with a van and automatic weapons, which really sucks, by the way. True. I need to get somebody to do some kidnapping. Can you hook that up? I, 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 I got to hook that up. No. Oh, well, deep, maybe Mr. Kid can hook that up, because I wouldn't even... M&M's, like, intake. Maybe the, the Birdman gets 50% yes. of M&M's. How does that work? No, not M&M's. I'm sorry. Lil oh. Wayne. So, oh, so, oh, so if Lil oh. Wayne makes $30 million, he, he takes $15 million. Yeah. So. Sick. Woda. <laughs> so he can make up slang? But I don't know if he's dying. You know, I think that's just hype to get him. Yeah, props, I mean, you know? right after that. It's, he's probably in the hospital. Don't you think it's stupid, though, that, like, there was a time we were just, uh, you know, talking about the anniversary of Biggie's death. Mm -hmm. There was a time when rappers were getting shot. Mm. Now they're going to the hospital and getting into seizures for Pills drinking, stuff. like, cough syrup? No, nah, but he, 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 he did an enema with it. He did an enema with his carbo drink? Yeah, he put it in his ass. A codeine enema. Mm -hmm. That shit will fuck you up, who kid? That's why he was shaking. <laughs> Call him shake. What's up, Tyler?
Yo, Sam. I learned today on today's show that uh, late 800 ruined so many men's neckties. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Are you serious? Larry. <laughs> uh, hello, Mr. Kid. What up, son? Uh, just hanging out, man. You know how it is. It's so nice out. I think I'll leave it out. Mm. Um, Sammy, <laughs> what? Hollywood fun. Some Sammy, sweetheart, the F and Roberts professor. E-Rock, how are you doing? Good. Be right back. Whose water is that? Mr. Lipton would like another bottle of water. Well, Mr. Lipton can have whatever he wants, goddammit. Not only has he oh. talked to every famous person in the world, but he used to be a also, pimp. could you talk to Who Kid? Is that cool? I don't know if we're going to have time to squeeze Who Kid in. Okay. Yeah, that was... Oh, I'm just hanging. I'm just hanging, too. You know? <laughs> well, you got like 10 minutes? <laughs> ten, I, got, I got the whole show today, Who Kid. Oh, get out of here. You're here nice and early. Did you hear, see James Lipton? Yeah. You yeah, know who James Lipton is, right? I just saw him outside. Did you get a photo with him? Nah, he said, fuck you. He did? He said that to you? I don't take photos with, you know, homies. He was just, that's what he says. He's old school. Yeah, he's super old school, you know. He was, uh, he was on here talking about the days of living in Paris. He was a pimp. Yeah, yeah I heard about that. He just talked about it. He said, uh... Selling that pussy. That's what he was doing. His girlfriend, yeah. I guess, was a woman of the night. And he used to go to, like, uh, tourist areas, mm. and people would be like, oh, you want to see the Eiffel Tower? You want to see the Arc de Triomphe? Yeah. And he'd be like, you want to see some girls fuck? And they'd what? be like, yes, yes, of course we do, James Lipton. He's seen his dick, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know if he took his dick out for them at that. <laughs> that, that doesn't seem like a convincing sales pitch. So he was like a, a pimp in Paris. Like, yeah. Wow. He was one of the original N words in Paris. And begin to have those connections. I'm I could sorry do that. if you weren't even talking to me for the question. I'm terribly sorry, my ego. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, Larry. <laughs> yeah, What's like going on ego. today? <laughs> well, what I learned on today's show is it, it continues to impress about how Demi can hit the post. He is absolutely phenomenal. And also, I learned and who knew that James Lipton could get a job in acting and make a career in acting <laughs> without ever acting in anything. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Hey, that's crazy. He's the man. You want this, uh, Larry, you always call You want this Sudoku? <laughs> well, I, the, the question I have about the Sudoku is which one is it? Is it one of the New York Post? Is it the Daily News? It's the, Sudoku? It's the, the Daily York News. Today? It's the Daily News completed, signed, and dated by Greg O.B. Hughes. Well, um, I got to tell you, it would, could become a very valuable family heirloom. All right. Well, I'm going to put you on hold. They're going to take your address and... Uh, and you're going to get it. Okay, well, great, Sammy, because I wanted to talk to somebody off air about a great elevator show premise. All right, give it to whoever's screening calls. I want to get on that show. All right. You want to get on Obi's elevator show? I want to be, like, naked on there. Why? Nobody asked you to be naked. I thought everybody has to be naked on there. No, nobody's begging.